Hey everyone, welcome back to How to Be a Bozer. Spring is here, but winter is coming. And in celebration of that, we're gonna be doing some stuff with the White Walker six scale figure by 3-0. Let's get started. All right, here it is, the White Walker figure, finally in my hands. Comes with this awesome dragon killing spear and a change of outfits. Can't wait to see what I can do with this guy, so let's get started. Okay, here he is, the White Walker, and wow is he menacing. That portrait, especially lit the way we have it here from above, just really accentuates so many great, great features. Um, all right, so I wanna get some, he's got his armor on, he comes with a skirt, kilt, whatever you want to call it, and his bare feet from, it's been so long, but I can only assume that it's from the scene in, um, in Craster's Keep where he's taken the child. So uh, yeah, let's just uh, move along here and get right into this combat pose thing. Uh, so yeah, let's get this uh, spear wielding hand into its home. It slides in there pretty easily, but you can see that it's just really in there nice and tight. Good. That's, uh, that gives me a lot of confidence moving forward. I was going to try to slide that in here, but these actually these fingers are pliable enough that I'm pretty confident that I'll be okay just prying them out, just wrapping them back around. Yeah, look at that. So I'm just going to do a little bit of an experiment here with this figure. The joints in here are ratcheted. Let's see. I don't want to bend this arm too much because I'm concerned with tearing happening right there. And it looks like the limits are about 90 degrees. All right, so that's good to know. Okay, so I just want to get him like he's either just swung his uh, ice weapon back or like he's getting ready to swing it forward. I'll decide which one once I get it back there, just kind of like letting the pose dictate itself here. Um, notice how I've got the fist just kind of bent forward a little bit, just kind of given that little bit of a curl like he's flexing his forearms. Um, that just provides a little bit more menace, a little bit more energy. So let's see, I'm gonna bend that just a little bit up. Just kind of creating some balance here. Look, just look at that. That just looks flat and contrived. But when you've got it, got his arm out and kind of the same width that you have the other arm out, then it just kind of brings everything together. So twist the torso back in the direction of the sword, and I'm going to see how far up. This hair is pretty sturdy, and I don't know how much it's going to collide with the armor. So I'm just going to sort of gently try to get him to look up as I'm turning his head this way. And it looks like I'm gonna be able to get some play out of this. This is good. I think it's because everything back here is soft and he's not actively colliding with his pauldrons there. Could leave it like that, but why would you? So let's go ahead and give him a wider stance, a combat stance. And man, this is almost, look how easily that swivels. That's so great. That's just gotta be some kind of a ball joint in there as opposed to the actual hinge joint. But yeah, let me just, uh, Good God, this figure poses like a dream, everybody. <laughs> it's, it's legitimately almost posing itself. I know I've said that about other figures, but it's like I think about something, I kind of make my hands do this little motion, and the figure's just like, yeah, I know what you're trying to do. Here, let me help you with that. I've got to be honest, this is performing even better than I'd hoped. And I had some high hopes. So yeah, this is, gonna, this is definitely, he's just swung his, um, his weapon probably shattering the metal sword of a member of the Night's Watch, is, if you can imagine that. If you can't imagine that, watch Game of Thrones. It'll all come to you. I feel like that's a good, solid pose, but I kind of want to give him just a little bit more energy. So I'm going to raise that arm up. And it's just, oh God, that expression. Typically with stoic expressions, I feel like they don't lend themselves to combat. But given the character of the White Walkers, the way they're just by their nature, just icy exteriors to match the place that they're from, it's, this works really, really well. And the stiffness of his hair works in your favor with something like this because it's almost like it's being whipped up by the motion. Just kind of twist that torso just a little bit. Look at that nice curve. This is a great figure body, everybody. I'm really, really happy with this. And I think, I think you've got something there. I recently re-watched Game of Thrones in its entirety, and I can tell you that just seeing the White Walkers on screen fills me with dread. Martin's spin on elves and orcs that he created for this series has become, in my mind, one of the more chilling adversaries in literary history. 